7 and page 148. What is the title of the activity today? Okay, so we are going to count by getting the mass of the object. And we have three objectives for this activity. Can we get the first objective? Uh, Samoy. Okay, what is our first objective? Measure the mass of an object. Very good. Now we are going to measure the mass of the object. And what object are we going to use today? Paper clips. Paper clips. So you are going to measure the mass of paper clips. And the second objective can we read um, Lila? Record the mass of the correct number of Okay, very good. So we are going to record the mass of the object. So after Getting the mass of the object, we are going to record them and we are going to learn how to record later. And the last objective is, um, yes, can we read, um, go ahead. Relate the mass of the object to the number of users. Okay, thank you. So we are going to relate, after getting the mass, recording the mass, the last thing that we are going to do today is, so before we do the activity, let's first have this uh, table. I want you to refer to your book. At the same time, you refer to this table. So here in our table, how many trials are we going to have? Three. three. Okay, we have three trials. One, two, and three. three. It simply means that you will be using or you will be weighing the objects three, three times. times. And in the first part of the activity, how many pieces of paper clips do you need? 25. Okay, you'll be using 25 pieces of paper clips. Understood? Yes, and you're going to do the weighing process three times. Okay? Now, after weighing the 25 pieces of paper clips, what you're going to do next is to record the data. Is that understood? And you're going to record that data under mass of the 25 pieces in grams. Understood, Dayan? And then after getting the mass of these 25 pieces of paper clips, what you're going to do next is you get the average mass of each paper clip. How are you going to do that? Okay, to get the average mass of each paper clip, what do you have? Two. Two grams. Therefore, each of these paper clips weigh in average by two grams. Understood, Dayan? Yes, sir. Okay. So, our breakfast was in the first table. Okay, first time. Let us move on to the second table. So for the second table, this is quite uh, more tasky because we are going to get a handful of paper clip. I need to say, can they give me some? Uh, that one. Okay. So all you have to do is get a handful of paper clip. I need to say you're going to get an amount or number of paper clips that would fit into your plan. Uh, we did uh, with your palm closed or with your hand closed. And then after that, you weigh that number of paper clips that fit into your hand when you close it. So that is what you're going to do. And how many times are you going to do that? Three. three. Okay, you have to do that for three nice. times. And upon weighing, you record your data under mass of a handful of paper Clips. And then, next thing that you're going to do is you count the number of paper clips. For example, you're going to weigh the paper clips after getting an amount which fit into your hand, which is close. Weigh it and then get the number of paper clips. How are you going to do that? Of course, you're going to do what? You're going to... Count. Very good, no? So you're going to count the number of paper clips that you have weighed and that fit uh, into your hands that are your hand that is being closed. Understood, man? Yes, sir. 
And then, last thing that you're going to do is number of paper clips based on the actual count. Number of paper clips based on the actual. For example, you took, um, let us say, 60 grams of it. Okay, 60 grams. And you're going to divide 60 grams by 2 grams to get this. So 60 grams divided by 2 grams. How much do you have? 30 grams. Okay, you're not going to use gram. Meaning to say you have 30 pieces of paper clips. So in other words, in the third column, there you're going to record here 30 pieces of Paper, Is that understood? Yes. Based on the solution that you have, okay? By solving it. Afterwards, you get the number of paper clips based on the actual count. How are we going to do that? By this time, okay, by this time, you are going to count the number or the actual number of paper clips. What you did, what you're going to do in the third column is you get the number of paper clips by solving. Okay? In the fourth column, you're going to get the number of paper clips by counting. Am I understood to you? Yes. Okay? Again, uh, put on. Okay. After this uh, activity, you're going to record all your data by following the data table in our activity. Is that understood? Yes. You're going to draw your own table and construct and enter the correct data into your table. After doing that one, you're going to present your output through the following. First, it could be done through Reporting or it could be news reporting. Okay, that's the first means that you will be doing. Next, it could be done through news casting, and the last uh, is through a talk show. I will not expect all members of the group to do that, that part. Okay, you just choose members among your groups to do it. Now, for the criteria, okay, for the criteria, there are uh, two sets of criteria. The first set is on the actual uh, conduct of the laboratory activity. So first is group uh, cooperation, okay? Uh, the cooperation of the members is very important. And then the second is Correctness of the data entered into the tables. Okay? And for the presentation, okay? For the presentation, you have number one is um, group performance in front. Okay? So, correctness of the data should be uh, observed when presenting the. Uh, information or you're presenting the output that you have and also each of those presenters that will be performing in front to be able to have their own part. So each member should have their own part if you will be part of uh, those that will present in front. Understood? Okay. Can we now start? Okay. Before we anything else, are there questions? No. Are there questions or more? No. Okay. Let's start. Okay. okay, now you can start now, please. You can start now, you can start now. Are you putting how many paper kids in the first part? Yeah. Ratify paper kids. Okay, start now. Make sure, by the way, you make sure that your paper clips are all identified. Okay? All paper clips must be identified. <laughs> 
Count first. All the letters must be two from J to the zero mark. The letter has a zero mark, and then you put the paper piece on top of the platform. Just let it there. Let it go. Okay. Count the. Okay, remember if uh, if the smallest letter will not work, you make use of the larger one. Okay, so you put the letter back if it does not uh, give you the correct information. No, do not put that at the center. It should be exactly the number. Again, okay. move it backwards. Move it back, move it back. 20 more. Okay, and then move the smallest number. Okay. Is everything okay? Have you done the first try already? Yes, sir. Okay. How about you? So you have how much? And then you do another try again. You have how many papers? Yes. Seven point five. Okay, record twenty seven point five, and then you get another twenty five pieces of paper clips here. So for you to have the second try, okay. Okay. Uh, you time, okay? Uh, okay. 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 The smaller paper clips that you have, so that you can have more trials. Since you only have 25 of the paper clips that are known, right? Uh, 25 per day, you will use only 25 in each trial. Okay? The same? Okay, that's alright. Uh, all we have to do is to get as many trials as we, as we can have. Okay? So 25 of it, and then you get another 25 from here. Okay? And then wait for the sec uh, second trial. Okay, ma'am? Okay. Meaning to say you'll be using different 
paper clips. Uh, but uh, I don't help paper clips, but it is advised. Um, it is advised to have more than 25 paper clips. Okay. So that you can proceed to the presentation part, okay? This double time so that we can proceed to the presentation part. Make sure that the rider is properly positioned. Let me look at them. Let me look at the rider. Is that proper? Is it fine? And we can 
can have a better future if all students will be like them. Again, I am Kat Samso and I am Answers Acer, reporting from the Science Patrol. Okay, let's do that. Uh, the group one did a good job. I think the group two will do the same thing. So let us now welcome the group two in their presentation. Let us give them a round of Distractable item. 
program. And we are going to discuss the results of your activity. My we will be focusing more on uh, the result of our activity. And the first question is, is the number of uh, paper clips the same when you compute and when you get it through actual counting? Is it the same or not? No. Okay, some groups, the result is? No. Now, how about the other groups? Yes. Okay, it is yes. Once again, to those who said not, why did you say that it is not the same? Anybody? Why is it so? Why did why do you think you didn't come up with the same number of paper clips in the actual counting and the number of paper clips when you compute it? What do you think is the reason? Anybody? Uh, we'll try to answer in group one. Okay, nobody. How about in group two? Anybody here? Well, Again, okay, let's have group three. Your answer is no. Did you have the same number of paper clips? Actual count and computation the same or different? Different. So why do you think it's different? Anybody? Who is that answer, Labanon or TJ? Both of them. Both of them. I only need one. So again, you can try the code. And don't want to. Yeah, well, we'll try to answer. What do you think there is uh, a different result when you get the actual count and then um, the number of paper clips based on the computation that you did? Uh, why do you think so? Anybody? The group here had different. A different number of paper clips. That group then different also. This group, the only group which came up with the same number. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, this one, different. Now, what could be the possible uh, results do you think? Anybody? Yes. Uh, Okay, the number of paper clips are all results are also the same. And also, um, you can also say that the mass of the paper clips is the same also. Very good. Now, talking about the second question. The second question asks us to relate or to try to apply this in the real life situation. Okay? So try or apply this concept in real life situation. What example can you give aside from the paper clips that we use today in our activity? Anybody? Another question that we can give you, what other objects can we use aside from the paper clips that we use lately? Anybody? No more? Oh, yes, Melody? Yes. We can use vegetables or fruits in a market. Like the businessmen or businesswoman, they used to they used to weigh the vegetables yes. or fruits the way they use the Okay, so the way they use the way you stay. Okay, very good, huh? So perhaps you can make use of it in um, selling fruits. No, maybe that would be applicable. Given the chance no, that the fruits are of the same sizes. Perhaps you can do that. That's a good point. What else? In what instances can we make use of them? And what other hands? Once again. Okay, you said? Okay, repacking goods in the side side store. What particular goods do we sell in the side side store? That could be applied or that you can uh, use this concept in, uh, or that can, we may uh, we can apply this concept in your life. Yes, Clement? It might be sugar, vinegar, soy sauce, and so on. Okay, sugar, vinegar, maybe. Uh, you have some points. How about you? Yes, very good. 
Mongo, perhaps. Huh? Uh, you don't have to count the number of Mongo seeds that you have. Okay? Yes, Max. Okay, rice. Since there's Mongo here, you have rice there. Maybe. Uh, it could be. Uh, how about in uh, some other uh, goods? No? Those that are not eaten. What particular goods can we uh, relate here? See, Ano pa pwede ang goods na pwede natin marinate? Ha? Come again? Uh, powdered soap or pwede yung uh, corn. Uh, so those are other things we, in which we can apply the concept. Now, uh, for example, I have this question and I need you to do the computation. Okay? I need you to do the computation. For example, one screw. Do you know what a screw is? Yes. Okay. Let us say one screw weighs one half gram. Okay. One screw weighs one half gram, and you have ten grams of this screw. Okay. Approximately each screw weighs one half gram, and you have ten grams of uh, this kind of screw. How many pieces of screws do you have today? How many screws are there? Anybody? 10 grams of screws. Each screw weighs one half gram. How many screws do you have? And anybody? Yes, Marian? Very good. Okay, you have 20 screws all in all. Is it bad? You have 10 grams, and then each uh, screw weighs 0.5 grams. We need to say you divide 10 by 1 half, you will give, the going to give you 20. Okay, let us have another one. Let us say marbles. We are fun to play marbles here. Okay, when you were once young, no? but nowadays, no more playing of marbles. Let us say uh, each marble weighs, let us say, approximately 3. I don't know, 15 grams. And that's a shoe. Huh? 15 grams is the weight of one marble. And you have around 20 marbles. If you are going to weigh that one, now if each marble weighs 15 grams and you have uh, 20 of it, what will be the total weight of the 20 marbles that you have? Okay, do not answer Taurus. Anybody? Uh, yes, go on. 300. The unit is? Okay, very good. So you will have 300 grams. Okay, let us apply this in the market. Okay, let us say, but but sells fruits. Uh, okay, so she sells fruits in the tabuan in the market. And then, uh, let us say all of her um, oranges weigh the same. No? Lahat mga oranges niya magkapareho yung timbang. And let us say uh, each orange, no? each orange fruit weighs, let us say, 250 grams. So that is around 0 0.25 kilograms. Okay, 0 0.25 Kilograms. And Baba has one um, box of it. In one box, there are 100 oranges. Okay, in one box, there are 100 oranges. What is the weight of this one box of oranges, do you think? Uh, other hands, please. Gano ba kabigat yung isang box? If there are 100 oranges and one orange weighs 0 0.25 kilograms. Anybody? Uh, yes, Lance? Okay, you will have 25 kilograms. Is that correct? Yes! Okay, very good. So that this activity today is actually our um, preliminaries in talking that, uh, on something that is more complicated and we're going to learn that tomorrow okay so uh let's call it a day and thank you for your presentations i want your paper group one can you give me your paper and then group two group three can you give me your paper as well
well and move forward. And I will just.